Hi kids, have you ever seen a honeybee buzzing around flowers and wondered what it's doing? Bees are some of nature's hardest workers, and today we're going to explore their incredible world. Inside a beehive, thousands of bees work together to make honey, care for baby bees, and help plants grow. But how do they do it? Let's take a closer look and uncover the secrets of the honeybee hive. A beehive is like a small city, buzzing with life. There are thousands of bees, but not all of them have the same job. The hive is made up of three main types of bees. The queen bee, the worker bees, and the drones. Each one has an important role to play in keeping the hive running smoothly. The queen bee is the most important bee in the hive. She is the mother of all the bees and spends her entire life laying eggs sometimes up to 2,000 eggs in a single day. Without her, there would be no new bees to keep the hive alive. Worker bees take special care of the queen, feeding her royal jelly, a special food that helps her grow big and strong. Worker bees are the real superheroes of the hive. They do almost everything, collecting nectar, making honey, taking care of baby bees, cleaning the hive, and even defending it from invaders. These bees are always busy, and they only live for about six weeks during the summer because they work so hard. Drones are the male bees in the hive, and they have one job, helping the queen bee lay eggs. Unlike the worker bees, drones do not gather nectar, make honey, or protect the hive. They just eat and wait for a chance to mate with a new queen. But once summer ends, the worker bees push them out of the hive because they don't need them anymore. Inside the hive, bees create a beautiful golden honeycomb made of wax. But did you know that bees are expert builders? They make their honeycomb cells in the shape of hexagons because this shape holds the most honey while using the least amount of wax. Isn't that amazing? Bees make honey by collecting nectar from flowers. They store the nectar in a special honey stomach, then bring it back to the hive, where they pass it from bee to bee until it turns into thick, sweet honey. This honey is stored in the honeycomb and sealed with beeswax until the bees need it for food. Bees have a special way of talking to each other. When a worker bee finds a flower full of nectar, it returns to the hive and does a waggle dance. By shaking its body and moving in circles, it shows the other bees exactly where to go to find more flowers. Bees don't just make honey. They help plants grow, too. As they move from flower to flower, they carry pollen, which helps plants produce fruits and seeds. Without bees, we wouldn't have apples, strawberries, or even chocolate. Did you know that bees grow up inside the hive, just like a little family? When the queen bee lays an egg, it hatches into a tiny white larva. Worker bees take care of these larvae by feeding them pollen and honey. In a few days, the larva spins a silk cocoon around itself and transforms into a pupa. Then, after about three weeks, a brand new bee is ready to hatch and join the hive. Bees have some pretty incredible superpowers. Did you know they have five eyes? Three of them are small and help bees detect light, while the other two are much bigger and allow them to see patterns on flowers that we can't see. Also, bees have tiny hairs on their legs and bodies that help them collect pollen. And here's something really cool. Bees can recognize human faces. So if you see a bee often in your garden, it might actually remember you. What happens to bees when it gets cold? Unlike some insects that hibernate, bees stay inside their hive during winter. They cuddle together and vibrate their wings to stay warm like a tiny bee heater. The queen bee stays safe in the center while the worker bees take turns eating stored honey and keeping the hive warm. That's why bees work so hard in the summer, so they have enough food to last through the cold months. Bees may be tiny, but they are facing some big problems. Things like pollution, pesticides, and habitat loss are making it harder for bees to survive. If bees disappear, 
many of our favorite fruits and flowers will disappear too. But don't worry, we can help. By planting more flowers, avoiding harmful chemicals in our gardens, and protecting wild bee habitats, we can make the world a safer place for bees. Bees may be small, but they do so much for the world. They make delicious honey, pollinate flowers, and help our planet stay green and full of life. Next time you see a bee buzzing near a flower, remember to say, Thank you, little bee. And if you want to learn more about nature and science, don't forget to explore, ask questions, and keep being curious. Thanks for joining us on this buzzing adventure inside the world of honeybees.